Hi, I'm Karina Campobasso, and I'm here with Frank Nitti, the energy manager for the town of Winthrop, and Chris Buchanan, the marketing director of A Solar, and we're here to talk about the w Solarize Winthrop program. Um, I'm very excited about it because uh, my husband and I got solar panels on our roof six years ago now in uh, August of 2011, and we have saved a lot of money and helped the environment at the same time. So when I learned that we might be chosen, uh, the town of Winthrop might be chosen for the Solarize program, uh, I was very excited. Um, Frank, do you want to talk a little bit about the Energy Committee and the Solarize program? Sure. So the Energy Committee, uh, which is a resident-led uh, committee um, from folks here in town, was established just over a year ago with the focus on uh, identifying and running uh, community, uh, so resident and small business uh, energy efficiency initiatives and renewable initiatives. Um, out of that came uh, the Solarize Winthrop program that we're here talking about today. And this program is actually one that is sponsored uh, by the town, uh, as well as by the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center and the Department of Energy Resources. In 2012, Winthrop received Green Communities designation, uh, which uh, for our commitment to reducing energy consumption by 20%, uh, we receive grant money every year. And one of the conditions of that Green Communities designation was to run a solarized program in town. So now that uh, I've been able to come on board and we've been able to establish our energy committee, uh, we now have all the pieces in place to help make a solarized program uh, happen and, and be successful. Thank you, Frank. Um, Chris, do you want to talk about um, A Solar and what you've done? Sure. So, uh, the town of Winthrop selected A Solar. Uh, we're actually out of North Andover, Mass. Um, we were ranked the number one solar company in 2016 uh, by Solar Power World Online, and we're proud and honored to have been selected. So, the basic premise for the Solarize. Uh, campaign is it's a group purchasing power so the more people that sign up for the program the more people that install uh, the cheaper the price becomes and our price that was established with this campaign represents a significant discount to what you would get uh, on the open market so the process is really pretty simple um, we've created a website where you can learn a lot more about this it's uh, go solar Winthrop uh, and you can go on there you can read all about the program sign up. The way A Solar works uh, is, you know, it all starts with a free consultation. Uh, we'll look at your house on satellite. We'll design a preliminary um, proposal, just kind of tell you exactly how many panels we can fit up there, what the energy uh, production would be. We'll send somebody out to your house. Generally takes about 45 minutes or so um, to kind of walk through how solar works, the incentives, the tax credits, the rebates. There's kind of a lot to it. Um, we'll discuss the financing, we'll discuss the technology, um, and explain everything from there. Um, from there, the next step is what we call a site survey, and that is when we'll actually send a crew, they'll get up on your roof, they'll examine the condition of your roof, uh, they'll look at your electrical uh, situation, your structural situation, um, and just kind of confirm the things that we were talking about on satellite. From there, um, generally the process takes anywhere from two to three months. Uh, the actual installation takes one day, generally. Sometimes it can take a day and a half, but it's usually one day and even less than that. Oftentimes it's less than that. Um, and then from there, it's really just as simple as switching out your electrical meter. And, and again, all this is handled by Ace Solar, um, you know, in, in coordination with Frank and the town. Uh, all the permits, the um, inspections, everything is all handled by Ace Solar. What about the financial incentives? Yeah, so there's really attractive financing for solar in Massachusetts. So it all starts with a federal tax credit, uh, which is a 30% tax credit, which is a huge incentive. Uh, there's a Massachusetts state tax credit, which is capped at $1,000. And generally, most systems are going to qualify for up, yeah, up to that $1,000. Uh, and then the biggest one we have here is called Solar Renewable Energy Certificates. Uh, and those are a production based incentive. So for every thousand kilowatt hours of solar energy that you produce, you're earning one of these credits. And those credits are in terms, you, you often hear people talk about um, you know, the utility buying your electricity. This is kind of the mechanism that they're talking about. It's 
there was legislation established that requires the utilities to purchase a certain amount of clean energy. And rather than producing it themselves, they buy these credits. And there's a value associated to those. So right now, they're worth about $250 per credit. An average system around here might generate six or seven of these. And the program is good for 10 years. Uh, in Massachusetts right now, the payback on solar, um, and again, what we're talking about here is owning solar uh, predominantly. There is a leasing option, but we really uh, advocate for the ownership model. And in that situation, what you're really doing is taking your electric bill, exchanging it for a zero down 10-year solar loan. Uh, generally, that payment is going to come in less than what your electric bill is anyway. And when you factor in those SRECs and all the incentives, you're actually cash flow positive generally at the end of the first year uh, with the payback occurring probably around three or four years. So again, kind of throwing a lot of information out there, which is why it's important to get us kind of in the house. Um, you know, every situation's different, every situation, every system. Um, and it kind of takes a little bit of building from here to there. And it, you know, so everything's a custom proposal for everyone. Well, I can say something about the SREC credits because we've been getting uh, checks now for six, seven years, uh, six years, uh, every quarter yep. of several hundred dollars. So it's been really a, a wonderful financially for us, and we feel like we're uh, helping save the planet yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And it's nice because when you're overproducing during the summer, that helps cover you during the months where your solar panels are not going to be producing as much, like during the winter when there's less sun. Um, so it's a really great financial model for residential uh, yeah. for, that mat for that reason. And with solar here, we have, you know, we kind of brushed over it, but there's something called net metering. So in those situations where you're overproducing, that excess electricity is going through the meter and back out onto the grid. Uh, and for every kilowatt hour that you're producing, you're earning the exact retail one-to-one -one credit, and that's called net metering. So that's another thing. So you, around here, you pay about 21 cents a kilowatt hour, and that's what you're earning as a credit. So when it's dark and you need to pull that stuff back, that's what you're earning off that. So. Yeah, and I can say something about that, too. Right now on our uh, bill, and it will go down in the winter, we have a $270 credit with National Grid. Great. So, yeah. Um, what about the concerns that people might have putting holes in your roof? Uh, do panels attract lightning? What, what are some of the technical sure. potential problems and how do you overcome them? Sure. So uh, the crews that we have installing these have literally installed hundreds and hundreds of solar systems in Massachusetts. Um, I'm happy to report we've had no problems. So first and foremost, everything has a workmanship warranty um, and it's guaranteed not only the equipment that comes with the manufacturers, but it actually the work. So any penetrations made to the roof um, are warranted by us for up to 10 years. Um, with solar, there's no moving parts. The panels are incredibly durable. Um, they have failure rates really of like one in a million panels will actually fail. But you're still guaranteed by a production warranty and an equipment warranty. And generally, those are 25 years, depending on the equipment. Um, that means that over the course of that 25 years, if the not, panel's not producing exactly what it's specified to produce, that they're going to make that hole. Um, all this, the whole process has to be approved by the building inspection uh, and by the electrical. And that's all coordinated by Ace Solar. Um, so there's a detailed structural design that, you know, panels typically weigh 20 or 30 pounds. It, it's, you know, when you're uh, looking at the structural supports, it's well within the load, um, you know, and that's all determined again by a professional engineer and stamped. The, sometimes there's a need for electrical improvements. That's all part of the process, too. That will all come out kind of in the thing, which is, again, why it's a customized kind of thing. Um, as far as roof, you know, a, a typical asphalt shingle um, will be protected by uh, the solar panels. So the biggest enemy oftentimes of an asphalt shingle is UV light. So you're actually extending the roof. Um, typically, we say anything less than 10 years, you should be OK. Uh, anything after that 10 to 15, you know, it depends. Not every roof is created equally. After 15, you know, we're, we're pretty hesitant um, to put something on there, you know, without having replaced that roof. Because ultimately, you're going to be upset if slash when you need to replace that roof and you know you're gonna have to pay to have it taken down and put back up um, 
do you work with any roofers? Oh yeah, we have a handful of roofers that we so, work with all the time. So if someone needs a new roof, who, who, someone who wants to install solar needs a new roof, mm -hmm. you can uh, work with uh, or you can recommend roofers and oh, work with them? Absolutely, we do it all the time. And same thing, I, Winthrop doesn't have a ton of tall trees, but we do a lot of tree work as well. Yeah, that's one thing about Winthrop. We are not a leafy green suburb, so there are many roofs, and I walk around town sometimes um, looking at the roofs and saying how, how great it would be to have solar panels on them. Yeah, a lot of opportunity here in town, yes. for sure. Yes, definitely. Um, does ACE have insurance? Oh, yeah, we have the highest levels of everything. Everybody that comes to your house is insured. Every person that's on the roof that touches the system is all insured and, insured and heavily trained. The nice thing about ACE Solar is it's a company um, our motto is born from experience, and it really shows most of us have been in the industry for you know at least five years, which in solar is like dog years. Um, <laughs> and a lot of us have been in there a lot longer than that. So that kind of level of expertise you can see right from, you know I think our first interaction with you all the way up until uh, the final completion. You know we have on-site project managers, we have customer service, we have everything. and it's you know solar is really great thing in Massachusetts. Um, it's a oftentimes a little bit cumbersome working with different towns. That's the nice thing about a program like this. You kind of get to know the building inspectors and everybody. So operationally, it's a lot more uh, you know, better. And we can generally move quicker. That, you know, that three-month timeline can often come down. And when did you, the program officially start? And how many people have you signed up so far? So I think we officially kicked off the 14th. I think was the kickoff event. Mm -hmm. um, we have, I think we just about signed our fifth homeowner uh, with another couple dozen really in queue to you know get their site assessment and, and everything. So early results are great. Um, and great. I think, you know again, the more and more people get out, there's a lot of confusion always around solar. And unfortunately, sometimes that word draws a negative connotation to some people. Um, so having a partner like the town and being able to work with uh, organizations to get get that level of trust that's really important to us. And how long is the program going to run for? You know, I think we'll officially, you know, put an end date sometime at the end of January, February, but, you know, it's, uh, I think contractually we're obligated for a year from that point. Well, I was wondering, Frank, do you have something to say about that? The, the, does uh, Massachusetts have certain uh, requirements for the Solarize program that people should know about? Um, so the most important thing is that uh, this program uh, isn't going to be around forever and uh, nor is uh, Solarize designed to be around um, uh, for more than you know just a couple months. Uh, the, the mechanism behind uh, Solarize is that uh, ourselves, um, the energy committee in the town help take on uh, some of the marketing efforts uh, for this program so that ACE Solar is able to reduce its customer acquisition cost and then on top of the uh, bulk um, purchasing model where uh, more people who buy into it, uh, the lower the price. Uh, that's how we're really able to offer uh, such aggressive uh, below market pricing. Um, so. What we're shooting for and, and what is most advantageous to the town is to try to uh, get as many people signed up and their projects installed before the end of the year. That way folks can take advantage of that state and federal tax incentive this year instead of waiting uh, till next year. Uh, so that would be the most immediate uh, help in paying the systems back. Uh, is, is the sooner the better. Um, but unfortunately, we do have to put an end date on the program. It can't run forever. Um, but you know, for folks who are going to be away uh, during the holiday season and things like that, we wanted to make sure we at least extended the program into 2018 so folks still had an opportunity to sign up for their free assessment uh, and install panels on their home. Um, you know, just in case for whatever reason, or if they need to get their roof replaced, uh, there's still time for everybody to be able to participate. And the big question for you, Chris, um, do solar panels increase the value, the resale value of someone's house? Yeah, so there's a really big study out of, uh, the, out of Berkeley, California. I think they looked at 22,000 real estate transactions, so it's a large data set. 
And they found that s installing solar, again, that distinction between owning and leasing. So we're talking about owning solar here. Um, that it increases the value of, of your house $4 for every watt installed. So an average system might be about you know, 6,000 watts. So it's $20,000, $24,000 increase. Um, it's one of the only, I think, the only home improvement that you can make that's, that you can say that. Um, and not only does it increase the value, it actually increases the time that it, uh, or the, the speed, speed at which it sells. Yeah, and who wouldn't want to buy a house that they're not going to pay any electric bills, right? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, Massachusetts has some of the highest utility rates in the last 10 years. They've almost doubled. Um, and there's really no end that you see. I mean, it's just we have really old infrastructure. We have a lot of things going against us of why the utilities need to increase rates. And, you know, we've seen it before. We've seen rates go up 37% overnight. Um, you know, it tends to be after those terrible winters like we had in 2015. Uh, those costs eventually to maintain those lines and everything are passed on to the consumer. So this is a really good way to kind of hedge against that as well. Anything else, Frank? Um, the Again, I just want to stress the urgency to, to you know, get your free assessment done. Today. Yeah. It's not going to cost you anything. Uh, these guys can do everything right from the computer and yep. then show up at your house and show you what it looks like. Uh, so there's really no reason not to do it. Um, we are going to continue to have notifications in the uh, uh, blog uh, from the town manager that goes out every week. Uh, so that'll have a direct link to the website. Again, it's gosolarwinthrop.com. Um, so all of your information can be, on, uh, can be found right on there. Also on the town website, if you have any additional questions um, under uh, uh, committees, I believe the link is, there's an energy committee link and we have information about the program uh, right in there as well as, as well as contact information for myself uh, and the energy committee. So you're more than welcome to reach out to us if you have any other questions um, about what's going on in town, about the Solarize program uh, and things like that. Uh, on top of it, one of the other things that we are currently doing is uh, working with National Grid to help get uh, awareness out and more folks to uh, do free home energy assessments through the Mass Save program, which is great in tandem with the solar, uh, because the more you reduce your energy consumption, uh, the more opportunity you have to cash in on those uh, that SREC value. Um, so. Uh, it helps extend the, the panels that much further and the value of them. So uh, all of the information can be found on the town website under your energy committee, um, or you can reach out to me directly. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, those are two things that we have going on for residents and small businesses in town. Yeah, I, I, do, I just wanted to add, yeah, small businesses are included uh, in the program oh, as well. Right? Absolutely. That's yep. great. So the important thing to note with the Solarize Winthrop program is that it's been around for seven years and it's backed by the Department of Energy Resources and the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center. Uh, the town of Winthrop and the Energy Committee uh, went through a procurement uh, process to bring a solar on. So these uh, are guys, this is a company that uh, we've vetted uh, very strongly. Um, we've gone through, we've uh, looked at, at their program uh, over the years and we felt that they really were going to bring the strongest and best customer service and product uh, to our residents and small businesses here in Winthrop. So uh, we're so happy to have them on board. And uh, you know, again, just uh, this is a program that's backed by the town. So if you see any correspondence or anything coming through from a solar, uh, this is uh, not just some guy walking in off the street uh, trying to sell you something that's too good to be true. Uh, this really is a tremendous program, and it's one that the town of Winthrop is uh, is fully uh, backing and in support of. So um, we really hope everyone uh, will take advantage of this program. Okay. And I, you know, I'd kind of echo the MC. There, if you've ever wondered about solar or had any questions, this is a really easy, low-touch, low-pressure way um, to find out everything. And on top of that, you know, the uh, the offering, the, the pricing that we have um, that's publicly available on the website is really amazing. Yeah, I can I can really reiterate that because um, I, I I can tell from how much we spent on our uh, systems six years ago, uh, it would cost about forty percent with a sol with a solar today, mm -hmm. 
And I have been working with uh, the people at Ace Solar, and I can attest that they are all great people, and uh, encourage everyone to consider getting the free assessment uh, to see if, you're, if you'd like to get solar panels. Thank yeah. you. Hi, my name is Joe Aiello, and I'm a Winthrop resident on Bartlett Road. I began to think about getting solar panels when I saw a number of my neighbors in the town getting solar panels and uh, went out of my way to talk to them and got some early feedback from, from those folks that they were uh, quite happy with um, the decision to get solar panels. Of course, I'm sure like most of you watching, when you go to Home Depot and those kinds of stores, um, you would see uh, various vendors talking about it. So I use those opportunities to get materials and get uh, a little bit smarter about it. And I found out two things. One was that not only was it um, going to be environmentally positive, which was important to me, but um, also just as important to me, but a little bit of a surprise that um, it really can be a, um, a pretty good financial deal as well. So um, as I began to understand both of those elements of it, I uh, became more and more involved in um, executing on getting uh, uh, solar panels on the house. Um, I would say the most important thing for me when, when uh, I went about doing it was dealing with multiple vendors. Um, many of the residents in, in Winthrop had done the same thing. Uh, so I took advantage of those relationships and uh, learned as much as I could. The first question was whether the house was, um, had a satisfactory location. Um, I had uh, three different vendors do an analysis of the house. They came back with the same information that was all done free uh, at their expense, no, no cost to me. Um, the second was then to begin to understand if I were to uh, do it, um, what was the what were the basic choices? And the basic choices were, uh, do I want to lease the system or do I want to own the system? Um, as I talked to them and talked to others who had made the decision, um, it seemed to me that the real clear uh, cutoff was uh, how long you expected to stay in your home. And if you expected to stay in your home for five or more years, uh, to me it seemed that like it was more rewarding long term to own the, the, to own the installation. Um, so I guess you'd have to ask yourself that question, do I intend to stay here for five or more years? Uh, and if I do, you may want to be inclined to buy the solar panels. If not, you may want to be inclined more to lease. The, um, I, I then, then made it down to uh, two of the vendors who seemed most responsive. Um, I think getting them in a competitive environment is good because you get a better price. Um, you also get more detail about how they will install it, how will they determine uh, the condition of your roof, uh, the condition of the structure underneath your roof, what might be involved in terms of running cabling down. W there are different ideas about where they would put the meter um, and how those things might affect the outside appearance of your house as well as uh, interface with your internal electrical system. So I learned a lot from having uh, two competing vendors uh, participate in that. Uh, finally, I got written and financial proposals from them, reviewed them both and selected one of the, uh, the vendors uh, who then came in, executed a contract and um, went into the installation phase. Uh, and I will tell you the installation phase was, was really terrific. Um, probably more time spent on uh, the wiring inside the house and outside the house and connecting it to the various meters uh, than actually being up on the roof. The rooftop installation went uh, very quickly. If I remember, they put in the retention elements on the roof one day and then all of the solar panels the second day. Um, I was very concerned about how disruptive uh, the work might be to my neighbors. Um, I was assured that they would be in and out very quickly. They made promises in the contract to be in and out uh, very quickly and they respected those promises. Um, I also was concerned about what the visual appearance might look like and I actually was provided with a, a, um, a number of architectural renderings 
and was able to share that with my neighbors. Um, probably gave them more information than they wanted at that point. But um, so once the system was up and running, it has been um, seamless uh, from a operational perspective. You wouldn't know I had solar panels or I was burning coal in my basement. I mean, it, it really was no change whatsoever. Um, obviously, what was very different is that I was um, generating electrical power. That power needs to be sent back into the grid because I don't have a transformer, uh, which would have been a big expense. And so I would say 95% of folks um, uh, uh, come with the arrangements where they sell the electricity into the grid, and then you net out how much electricity you actually use. So over the last uh, four or five years that I've had this system, um, I have produced on a regular basis more energy than I consume. And um, the additional energy that I'm producing and selling to the grid, I get a direct deposit check once a quarter for the value of that. In addition to that, um, at the time when I bought it, since I was purchasing it, there were various state and federal incentives, and that resulted in a reduced um, income, ta uh, income tax payment, uh, or actually a nice refund in the first full year of operation. So that was... Um, that was a nice surprise as well, that the net cost was written down by the federal government and the state government. And as I say, I, I don't typically pay an electrical bill, that is zero, and once a quarter I'm receiving uh, payments direct deposit from directly from the utility company. Um, I, I have uh, you know, only needed to call my um, uh, vendor uh, twice um, over the five years. Once was when I went to a new Wi-Fi system. And of course, the Wi-Fi system communicates to their system so they can keep track of your usage. And the second one, I was doing a little bit of electrical um, uh, updating for my, my home system, nothing to do with solar, and I was disconnecting my electric for a short period of time, so I just wanted to advise uh, the solar provider of that as well. But otherwise, I don't even think about them. Um, I have a zero uh, electric bill. What more could you ask for, for that? And I get a small check coming uh, once a quarter, which is really great. So I would encourage you, if you're, you're uh, thinking real seriously about it, to me the most important thing was educating myself. And the second was um, get uh, those folks to compete because I think you'll get a better deal. I always believe you should compete out those um, kinds of investments and you get a better deal, not just on price, but I think you'll get a better deal on uh, service commitments that you want to get uh, for yourself. So thank you. Hi, my name is Julia Wallers and I'm a resident here in Winthrop uh, on Morton Street by the Marsh. Uh, and I started my educational career in environmental studies. I actually have a BA in environmental studies and education. Um, went on to get a master's degree in urban planning after I realized that my interest in environmental issues really spanned uh, a very holistic lens, looking at how cities are formed, how human behavior is. So while I never specialized in renewable energy per se, I have always been waiting for the right opportunity to um, looking for ways to make my home, my daily life more sustainable, have less negative impact on our natural environment um, and on, you know, social justice, on communities in general. Um, so for years, ever since we became a, a homeowners uh, several years ago in Somerville, we had a condo and I immediately did the mass energy assessment and looked for ways to, you know, seal up, uh, seal up our windows. I always had the plastic over the windows, we, you know. Um, upgraded our appliances, Energy Star, whenever possible. Um, I actually am a lead associate. I took that uh, test. I've worked in green building, helped communities um, go green, if you were looking at the built environment, as well as the spaces in between. So I've always sort of directed my career towards sustainability, as well as my daily life um, and how I am as a citizen. So looking at my house specifically has always been a way that I felt like I could make a direct impact because it's literally how me and my family personally are having an impact um, on our environment with respect to climate change and air pollution and um, energy consumption. So um, when I moved to Winthrop, we bought this house with a really significant size roof and a lot of sun exposure. And I thought, okay, when the time is right, 
we've got to go slow solar. It's it's the way to go. It makes so much sense. Why are we heating our house with fossil fuels? Why are we having a neg negative impact um, on our environment, on our future? You know, I'm, I'm a mother now, so that especially made me more committed to making sure that my lifestyle was one that was sustainable. Um, I know that word gets batted around in a lot of ambiguous ways. For me, to be sustainable really means to be living in a way that um, can go on and on without having a negative impact both on our natural environment and on other people. So bringing people into that um, equation is very important to me. So I just thought, oh, going solar, that's something way far off. When I, have, when I win the lottery or something, I'll be able to get solar panels. But I did know that there were a lot of tax incentives um, available and I became worried that under the current administration those incentives would expire and that in fact is true. So we started looking around this past summer um, for solar, um, uh, just different solar programs. There are so many. There's websites where you can just type in your address and a bunch of companies will contact you and give you bids. So we explored a different, a few different options and we're literally about to go with a different company when I think I saw on Facebook that Winthrop had actually contracted with Ace Solar and that there was a bulk purchasing option. And I thought, we've hold on, hold on, before we sign anything, we have to see what, what Winthrop can offer. Um, I knew that would be the way to go. So we immediately contacted a solar. They called, they came over, we had a great conversation and um, both my husband and I were very impressed, not just with their knowledge of the equipment and of, of the field, but of, they told us about incentives that the other vendors didn't even tell us about and ways to save even more money, um, not just an upfront cost, but if we were to choose to finance. Um, initially, we thought we wouldn't finance, we didn't want to take on any more debt, but we learned that through the uh, mass solar program, you can actually qualify for additional incentives, which brought our overall cost down to next to nothing, especially when you consider that our electricity bill was going to be brought slashed and eventually get these solar credits back because you're contributing to the grid. So in every possible way, it made so much sense. And I'm so glad that uh, that our town has taken this seriously and provided a way for residents to also get on board and um, create their bring sustainability into your home in a way that's convenient and affordable. That's probably the best part. So you don't have to be a millionaire. You don't have to be uh, you don't have to know everything about renewable energy or have the perfect house or the perfect roof. A solar will really walk you through that. Um, and I really look forward to seeing more solar panels pop up around town. Ours actually aren't on yet, but they're coming over on Monday to measure and um, get these get these puppies up before the winter comes. Mm. And yeah, welcome anyone to contact me if you have any questions. Let um, I can let you know how the process has been for us. So super excited and thankful to our town for taking this initiative to bring this this program to the town of Winthrop. Perfect.